Hello everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean Ian. In today's video, we'll be talking a little bit about rational numbers. What are rational numbers? A rational number is any number that can be written in the form a over b, where a and b are both integers and b is not equal to zero. Now just listen carefully so that when I say a rational, um, you don't mistake it for irrational. It's easy to get those mixed up um, just because of how they sound. So a and b have to both be integers. That's numbers like negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, all the way up and down from negative infinity to positive infinity. So a and b are numbers like that. And b can't equal zero because we absolutely cannot be dividing by zero. That's of course what this is, a divided by b. It's a fraction, a over b. So examples of rational numbers are something like, say, 3, for example, which can be written as 3 over 1. 3 and 1 are both integers. 1 is not equal to 0. Other examples would be 1 half, which is a rational number. 1 and 2 integers. 2 is not equal to 0. Negative 7 over 104 is a rational number. They all have some form, some integer divided by some integer, where the bottom integer uh, meaning the denominator is not equal to zero. And that's really all there is to it. If we look at numbers in decimal form, like 0 0.5, we know that this number is an integer because it is equal to one half. Like I said, one half, of course, is a rational number. It fits the definition. 0 0.3, repeating on forever, is a rational number because that's equal to one third. If we look at uh, the decimal expansions of numbers like 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.125, which is equal to one eighth, we know that decimal expansions of numbers are rational if they're terminating or if they are repeating. So a terminating decimal expansion would be something like this that just comes to a stop. 0 0.125, that's the end of the number. Repeating would be something like one third where we have three repeating on forever. In either of those cases, we can write that decimal as a fraction, um, one integer divided by another where the second integer, again, the denominator is not equal to zero. An example of an irrational number being a number that is not rational, of course the classic example, would be pi. Most people's first irrational number they get introduced to is pi. Pi is equal to 3.1415, so on and so on. It's just an infinite string of non-repeating, non-terminating decimals. Pi and other irrational numbers are proven to be irrational. Numbers like e. So by that I mean it's not that we just haven't found the pattern or we haven't found the last decimal. We know for a fact that these numbers are irrational. They cannot be expressed as one integer divided by another, which is the definition of a rational number, again, with b not being equal, equal to zero, because anything over zero is undefined. And that's really all there is to it, so I hope this video helped you understand what rational numbers are. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions, if you need anything clarified, or if you have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe to the swankiest math videos on the internet. I can hear your voice from all the way up here, dear. Won't you please come to me? You'll have it up here, dear. There's a light where I